Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we have something very spectacular that I'm so excited to try out. We have the new Subculture palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I've opened this to swatch it last night with one of the people from church. Her name's Anna and she has a YouTube channel so you should go follow her right now. And you should subscribe to my channel right now. Here's the palette. There's gonna be some light. And it's so pretty. And today we are gonna be doing an eyeshadow look with it because there's a lot of drama going on about how it it falls out. So I'm gonna take my scone blending brush and we're just gonna jump right in. Let me take this brush out. And I'm going to kind of show you how my YouTubers do it. And you can see all the fallout right there. Alright, now I'm going to jump in. Take that same color. Do the other. I was really excited to get this palette in, and I sent it to the wrong address, so it landed at one of my neighbor's houses, and I was walking all up and down my road just to try to find my palette. Yeah, there's a lot of fallout, but the pigment is good. Alright, now we're going to go into the color All Star. Wow. Look at the pigment. That was just one tap. Yesterday I used my Modern Renaissance palette to kind of remind myself how the colors worked. And it made me wonder why I ever stopped picking it up because it is literally one of the best palettes. We're going to go in with my Morphe 518 brush. It's a little dirty but it's okay. Okay, now I want to take one of the blues but those are the colors that I've heard aren't the best. So I'm going to go in with Budge. We might use the blue. We're just going to put it on the outer corner. Okay. Now I am going to take the Untamed. And put it right there. On the outer corner. That's really bad. Now I'm going to take one of these brushes that I got off Amazon, and it's just a flat shader brush. It's just a, you know, synthetic brush. And I'm going to go into the color Adorn. And it's not really that pigmented for the brush. So we're going to have to wet. Okay, now I'm going to take my MAC Fix Plus and just spray a little bit. I'm not really living for this. It's just kind of, I don't know, it's kind of blah. Do the other eye. Alright, I'm going to try a different brush and just kind of one of those same ones that I got from Amazon.
Yeah, that other brush helped. Now we're going to use our Morphe 441 brush. And I'm going to dip into that same purple all-star color. And tap it off. Put it back through my brush. This color, I don't know. It's just a lot prettier on the website. I mean, I'll still use it. I bought it, but it's like I can't do my eyeshadow because it's it's too pigmented. I can't dip in there a little bit. And then on one side it's blending and the other side is not. Well, I'm sure y'all can tell that. Okay, I'm giving up. This is just how my makeup's going to look today. See? One part. I cannot just go like this. I'm going to take my clean sleep. And try to do this and go on that purple again. I guess that made it better. I don't know. Okay, now I'm going to take my Royal and Lane Nickel. It's just this one. I don't know what kind of brush this would be called. But I'm going to go into the All Star color lightly. And I like to squeeze it and then rub it on the lower lash line. Just so it's very precise. Okay, and now I'm going to take the color Rowdy. Go in my mouth. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to come back and I'm going to have mascara on and eyeliner. Okay, so... I went in and I did lashes and eyeliner and I put on highlighter and setting spray and all the good stuff. But I wanted to do a close up of how my makeup turned out. So, And as you can tell this eye didn't blend as well as this one did. And I don't know why because I, well, I used all my normal products today. I used the MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre to prime my eyes and I use my translucent powder to set my eyes and then I use the wet n wild foundation the hula light and the tarte blush I mean I used everything that I would normally use and so I don't know why but this makeup look is not the best and I do not give this palette five stars um I'd give it at least uh two because it was not great this was not like, I'll show y'all. This is my modern renaissance palette. And as you can see, it's very dirty because I used it. I use it so much. But this one is not going to end up looking like that because it sucks. So... These two palettes, if you're looking to go get a palette, go find this one because it's the best one that they have ever made. But don't get this one. <laughs> so, um, I'll see y'all next time, guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave, as Laura Lee does. Subscribe to my channel before you leave. Subscribe! Alright, <laughs> bye.